Hi, I thought I'd record a video uh, showing you how you can take some text you have in your word processor and print it out in multiple signatures so that you can bind it as a multiple signature book. I'm using Apache OpenOffice for this demo. You can certainly do this with other word processors, um, but Apache OpenOffice is free. It's available for Mac and Windows and Linux, so you should be able to run it on whatever platform you're using. So I thought that's the simplest way to show this. I'm using OpenOffice 4. I expect the same strategy would work with earlier versions, but might as well get the latest anyway. So that's what I'm showing it on. I've created a pretty simple document. It's just got a page number on each page. You can see page 1, page 2. I've got a total of 16 pages here. That's just going to be easier, as you'll see in some of the little previews, to show you what's going on. You don't need to do anything special when editing your text. Just edit your text as you normally would. Pick your fonts, do all your layout stuff, anything you want. Um, that's all works exactly the same as if you were just going to print a normal sort of single-sided copy to to read or whatever. All the magic comes when you go to print it out. And so everything happens inside the print dialog, which is not this one, but in fact this one. So the first thing you have to do is you'll want to print it in landscape mode. You'll, that's because you want your pages to be wider than they are tall for when you fold them into signatures. So properties, and I pick landscape. So again, that was the properties button here. And now you can see it's in landscape mode. I can just preview what it's planning to print. But again, right now it's just normally printing the 16 pages with the page number on each. You can see that. go to page layout, you pick brochure. That's the magic. A brochure in the terminology of Apache Open Office, and you can certainly look in their online help around that, a brochure is basically a pamphlet. It's you take in a bunch of the pages, you're printing them two on a side, and so that you could take them all and fold them and do a pamphlet, stitch along the middle, and have a single, a single pamphlet. So that's really all it's built in to do. And so you can see now I picked brochure. You see the preview of what how it's planning to print. It's now planning to print only eight sides of paper because there are two text pages on each side of paper and it's look it's a, assuming that is printing all 16 to me a single pamphlet here so you can see that page 1 and 16 are on the same piece of paper because and then as you can see the patterns 2 and 15 and so on and and if you've played around with making pamphlets, you'll, you'll understand that's the right pattern to get them when they all fold together. You can read them as 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 16. So that on its own would let you do a single signature book, but to do the multi-signature book, all you need to do is control the pages that are being printed. So I was there was indicating I was going to print all the pages. But let's say I wanted to print just a two-fold signature. So two folds of, of paper, that means there's eight pages. So I'd say I want to print pages 1 through 8. You'll see now it's wanting to print four sides of paper, so two pages. And it understands that page 1 and 8 should be on the same piece of paper, and 2 and 7 and so on. So those would be printed so that when you folded them together, you'd have 1 through 8. And then my next signature, assuming I'm going to stick with this two-fold signature, I'd say, well, now I want to print 9 to 16. And you'll see that now it understands that 9 and 16 are on the same page. And again, it's printing four pages, four sides of, of so four pages. So you've got two pieces of paper and fold them all together. You'll have your folded signature for pages 9 through 16. Uh, one thing to note, this is all around folio printing, where each piece of paper you're feeding through the printer is going to get two pages on it. If I wanted to do something smaller, let's say I really wanted to sort of have, f I wanted my book to be half the size of a letter piece of paper, so essentially I could have printed four pages on the letter piece of paper. I don't try to figure out how to do that. There may be a way to do it. It's, it's too complicated for me. I'll cut my letter size paper into half and feed it through in the, a smaller page size, and so I'm still just doing folio printing. You might be surprised if you've never played with it. Most modern printers can actually take quite small pieces of paper. And in the worst case, you print it on a larger piece of paper with larger margins. You're going to trim some of the book off, but you're still going to get it done. I think quarto printing or, beyond, or anything like that is going to be more complication than it's worth. 
So really that's all there is to it. You're printing one signature at a time and let's say I wanted to have three folds in my um, signature so then I need 12 pages. I would just say for the first one it would be say 1 to 12 and you'll see that I'm printing six sides, three pieces of paper, three folds. And if I have a whole bunch of signatures in my book, I just print them one at a, each signature one at a time. So I'd print 1 to 12. When I was done with that, I'd print 13 to 24, and so on. If I was doing these three-fold signatures, if I was doing five-fold signatures, then it's 1 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60, and so on. I don't find that that actually really makes it particularly more complicated than being able to print the whole thing into one shot, because when I some other tools I've used, I could print it all in one shot. But it always would screw up somehow. You get a page that was double feeded or fed or something, so now you have an extra blank page. And when you're flipping it over to do the manual duplexing, it can get all, you get one page out of line and then everything's screwed up. So I think a signature at a time is what makes sense as far as practically dealing with manually duplexing your printer. Manually duplexing I, it just means you, it'll print one side, you have to take that, that set of paper and flip it over some fashion or somehow put it back in to be printed on the other side and the strategies to do that vary from printer to printer sometimes you take it out of the out tray and put it in the in tray with doing nothing sometimes you have to turn it 180 degrees or 180 degrees to flip it or whatever you just have to figure it out on your own if you got a printer that does automatic duplexing well then it's just going to work that's fabulous I, I've never actually had the, the pleasure of that so far so that's it it's I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, I hope this was interesting. I'm planning on making another one of these to talk about how you might get some of the um, out of copyright text that are available in Project Gutenberg and others. What are some of the, the sort of tricks for getting that text and getting it in as normal text in your word processor so that you could use this strategy to print that those out of copyright books as multi-signature things to to bind. So. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. Hope it was useful.